Hello everyone. So you may be thinking about spending 2.5k plus on one of the laptops in the title, all of which have the option for the NVIDIA RTX A2000 8GB graphics card. The majority will be considering these laptops because it's used mostly for professional design and cam work. But the question most of you are asking is, can I also game on it? Well in today's video I'm going to be playing games such as Forza 5, Atomic Heart and Call of Duty Warzone and will demonstrate how the GPU performs. The laptop in today's video is a Dell Precision 5570. I've reviewed this in another video so click on the banner if you are interested. On screen is the specifications of this model. If you're purchasing one of these mobile workstations and your intention is to also game, the first thing you want to do is install the NVIDIA experience. This application will ensure your drivers are all up to date and it automatically optimises your game settings. Other great features are that it allows you to record and share your gaming experience. The tool you are seeing displayed here is the FPS monitor. It allows you to monitor the performance of your graphics and machine in real time, giving you the frames per second, CPU utilization, memory usage, graphics temperature and more. You can access it by pressing the Alt and R key. Let's begin with Forza Horizon 5. The great thing about this game is that it has a built-in benchmark and can determine the ideal settings depending on your card. But how accurate is that? I have pushed the settings up to extreme and it did struggle a little bit, getting frames per second around 40 and 50. Notching it down to ultra, I found that this particular setting will get you the best of both worlds, great graphics and FPS. The RTX A2000 graphics has ray tracing which can realistically simulate the lighting of a scene. And as you can see the scenery is stunning. I am currently getting between 40 and 60 FPS on Ultra and it's playable. GPU temperatures are reaching a max of 74 degrees Celsius, which is under the normal range so there is no worries there. GPU utilisation is up at 98% so I'm definitely at the max settings here. CPU utilisation is anything between 17% and 50% depending on how busy the scene is. The laptop I'm using has an Intel Core i7-12800H processor which runs between 2.4GHz and 4.8GB on turbo and it's definitely not struggling here. You can't hear the fan spinning mainly because the sound is coming from these amazing built-in speakers. This game is one of my favourites, the visuals are amazing. I mean look at the effects from the water, it's stunning. Now on to the next game. So this is the first time that I'll be playing Atomic Heart. And I do know that this is a GPU intensive game. I've got the settings here set to high and you'll all agree that it looks amazing. FPS is around 60 and there isn't any jerking at this setting. The temperature is hitting around 70 degrees and it's barely using the CPU, between 15% and 45% utilisation. The GPU utilisation is around 75%, so the settings can go higher. There is not a lot of action going on, but this graphics can definitely cope at these settings. I've heard a lot of good things about this game and definitely impressed with the visuals. Now on to Call of Duty Warzone. And the settings are set to high and I'm currently trying this on battery only. The FPS was terrible and the game is unplayable, most likely because the GPU wasn't working as well without the power. Anyway, after putting in the power, things improved, so I would definitely make sure you're plugged in when gaming. The FPS is hitting around 40 and 50. GPU utilisation is at 98%, so this is as high as you're going to get with the settings. GPU temperature is around 70 degrees. For the Eagle Eye, I'm using my Xbox controller so my reactions are not great, but somehow I'm managing to get some kills here. So what's the verdict? The answer is yes, you can game on your mobile workstation if it's running the 8GB NVIDIA RTX A2000. The professional graphics card have come a long way. This GPU is the performance equivalent of the RTX 350 Ti laptop GPU, so it's no slouch. You'll be able to happily have a lunchtime sesh on your favourite title with ease. 
I would even go as far as saying you don't really need a separate gaming PC or console. So that is saving you some bucks there. I would be happy playing these games at these settings. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a like. If you want me to demonstrate some other games, please let me know in the comment below. I'll make the effort to reply to all the questions. I'll be unboxing and reviewing the Razer Basilisk X Hyperspeed Mice. This is definitely something you may want to consider buying if you intend to game. So please consider subscribing and hit the bell icon to be alerted when that video is uploaded. Thank you.